Rutgers. He was positive on Prodigy. And then he had a lot of wins on uh, Rex. And then no one else. He didn't play most of the rest of the PR. Yeah. And, like, it's hard to justify ranking someone without that data, and that's the issue. Yeah. Hi, Kira. It, it, it is. It's, it's good victories here, but it's only good victories amongst your region, right? Exactly. Well, amongst your... San Diego is yeah sub region. San Diego is very much SoCal, being about an hour and a half away yeah. from the venue. And but you you can't blame them for not having those. It's it's a far drive. Yeah, but like numbers are numbers, you know. Nonetheless, though, San Diego still has their heavy hitters with Phoenix, Rex, and AC. All very very strong players. Yeah, and, and we we've also been seeing Shangri, Ocean, Tiday, Ocean. Tiday, yeah, they have some very talented players down there. Yeah, most definitely. And it's good to see them finally understand, you know what? It's time for them to take those victories amongst ourselves to put it amongst others and finally look to put ourselves on the PR once more. I mean, yeah. way back in Smash 4, dude, honestly. They were good. They were, yeah, honestly having Fallen coming up. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm sorry. I have no idea what Cannon's doing in the background. I didn't see. Dang. All right, so we're getting into uh, Phoenix. Mostly playing the Greninja nowadays. Really solid character. Uh, probably the best one we have here in SoCal. I can't think of too many other ones. All right. Already off to a good start. 48% on to Luna, but Luna answering back. Gets the photo into down tilt, but Phoenix able to combo break it. That's a whiffed upbeat. No punish, though. Phoenix kind of respecting a little bit too much, I yeah. feel like. This was very much a hard matchup for the Frog way back in Smash 4, but now that Cloud has kind of been more balanced, so to speak, right? Greninja has a little bit more of an easier time. But nonetheless, right, the one thing that remains for Greninja here is to definitely watch out for Cloud's aerials. I, I will say one of my favorite parts about Cloud in this game is him comboing into aerial side B. It always looks so cool to me. Oh, yeah. How he, like, floats up there doing it. It's a cool-looking move. It's, yeah, it's always really cool. It's got a little swagger to it. Oh, nice. He wanted to get the Hydro Pump to get the Water Box to push Luna away from the ledge. Yeah, but that was a really good cross slash on the, in the air. Kind of stalls his momentum, gives him a little boost upward, but... Good parry. Once more, I like it too. He wanted he wanted to make sure that Luna was going to get hit by the Water Box and forcing him to use Limit. Once oh, more, the same attempt, but not close enough just yet. I felt almost killed. I didn't know that happened. Same. I just, Luna reacted late to that up air. Phoenix just missed. Like, that's unfortunate for him because he definitely tried to air dodge late. Yeah. Oh, no, it's a good tech situation here, and he comes right back up. Even still surviving at 152. The one thing that the frog is is light, but with, with Phoenix holding good DI, he's able to survive. Yeah, and both of them with max rage that F kill gonna obliterate Phoenix's star. Yeah, Phoenix went up behind though. He knows what he's looking for here. And I'm missing the up air, but I like it. Still brings Luna to the ledge, but Luna trades spaces here. And that Nair on the late hit. I'm sorry, strong hit. Yeah, I mean, eventually it's going to kill Ryan. 170 is the time to do it, I suppose. Yeah. All right, there's the up B, but Phoenix falling out of the second hit. It's nice. Good up B out of shield. He doesn't want to let Phoenix play around him for free. Oh, and that fair actually just killing off of the top. I'm not sure if uh, <laughs> Phoenix's DI had anything to do with that. Yeah. Nice. He doesn't let. He doesn't want to make sure he doesn't get front of the opportunity here. Good I've parry. Oh, but no punish afterwards. That move surprisingly hard to parry, uh, punish even out of a parry. Yeah, forward air. Yeah. Yeah. From, what, from looking at the data, too, especially, it's looking like it's really difficult. Put up air after it. Oh, no. Does it get the jab reset afterwards? Yeah, but he does get the tech Finds it here. <gasps> okay. Oh, and he lives. But the dash attack is going to at least pop him up once again. The ferret not going to kill, but now without an air dodge, there it is. He's not able to get the side B out. Phoenix able to sneak under him. Got a special auto shield once again. Luna looking at that 119. He knows there's blood in the water here. A back air or an up air will definitely cause problems for Phoenix. And he, Phoenix very well understands he's off the stage here. 
nice. He kind of hurt, but he shifts his hurt box with the up air. Takes his time at the ledge, but unfortunately, Luna returns back for the stock into play here. Back air to do it. Phoenix did really good though. He knows, like, you know what? I'm at the ledge. I'm really worried about back yeah. air. I'm really worried about up air. I have to take my time here. Yeah, but I mean, there's only so long you can take Luna just able to close it out. Yeah. Alright, here, well, game two. This is where it's quarters. For those of you guys wondering, anything when there's semis and up is best of five. Yep. Anything below semis here is going to be best of three still. Unless specified by the TO. Let's see what yeah, the bracket is lying here. Where my boy at? Where my boy? No. He no. Anyway, so Enix switching on to the Sonic here. That was his Smash 4 main. He still plays it in this game as well. Uh, we were talking earlier about how Sonic, you know, a character that everyone kind of thinks, oh, isn't nearly as good as he was in 4, which... Admittedly, he isn't, but he's not bad. Yeah, and we still have good Sonic representation out there in the Dominican Republic as Sonic's the best Sonic in the Dominican Republic. Ranked number one, I believe, in the region right now. So definitely the character is very much still a high tier, but he still lacks a few of the tools that a lot of people were comfortable with way back in the Smash 4. You know what this just reminded me of? You remember Koma Wakiri? Yes. Oh my god. That dude <laughs> played this game. Yeah, for a yeah, time. Yeah. For a I time. Mean, not really playing anymore, but I mean, he, these were his characters. Yeah. That's what this kind of reminds me of. He still plays every now and then, but he's not as focused as he would normally yeah. be because he's really focused in school. I mean, good for him. But like, I don't know. This just reminds me of that. Ward Air puts him off the stage here. Phoenix with the edge guard situation. I like the fact that he takes the time to take out the trampoline to give Luna a little bit of trouble here. Oh. And it does finally indeed, but it's not enough. Luna still has the height to make it back. Yeah, Holding and the on Looney to Tune punch right now coming out from Phoenix over and over. It's just such a really fast, dis like super long. His force smash is insane. Yeah, his force smash is still very good. Yeah, most it's still a very good. Back air, still also a very good kill option here. Yeah. Good forward tell. Puts him off the stage here. Phoenix with a setup. Yet again, another trampoline down the stage. Looks for the back throw, but Luna jumping over and gets a back air. Another one just snuffing out all of Phoenix's approach options. He regrabs, but Luna pulls the trigger late. Yeah, I like that from Phoenix, though. He didn't like the situation originally at the ledge. He regrabs it, knowing that Luna still might be looking for a back air. I calls out the jump with the forward air. Run off, that's another one, and that'll be the stock. I feel like Phoenix has really caught on to Luna attempting to stall with the side B's there and is yeah. punishing it rather well. Most definitely. Phoenix looking to get in around the shield. And I like it too because he makes the attempt knowing that, you know what, if Luna is going to be holding shield, I want to make sure I come back on the stage from it. Checks the charge here. And uh, that back air will do it. Good forward air. Phoenix has to watch out here. Limits in play. I know Luna has some crazy stuff there with finishing touch here. Oh, misses the forward smash. See, uh, that's the one thing I have, kind of haven't seen from Phoenix yet is going for back air. I do like how forward smash is still very strong for Sonic and Phoenix is using it to the best of its ability, but I kind of want to see a little bit of mix up because now what we're seeing from Luna is get up from ledge. Jump from ledge, I'm sorry. And these uppies are just putting in so much work. Every time Phoenix hits Luna's shield, he's just going up and down. See what I'm saying? That's another third jump from the ledge. And unfortunately, when Phoenix tries to come back to the stage, he gets clipped by the last hit of Limit uh, Cross Slash. Still surviving. The four has been shot, but there is no putt in the hole yet. Yeah, I mean, he just got tap in at this point. Luna just looking very confident. Ooh. He goes for the two frame up B, but he doesn't get it. The back hit of up smash. Phoenix is fighting for oh, this last no. stock, but the directional air dodge is not quite enough. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah. He has to twice, didn't he? Yes. 